Hey, hello. In a, that was horrible. Uh, hey, in a couple, I wrote things down so I would hopefully have something to talk about and not just sit here and huff and puff. So let's just roll into that. In a couple hours, there will be a phone call saying that a trans horse transport company is boarding the ferry to bring me two new horses. So a couple weeks ago, my mom and I were actually on our way to my university for an open house tour thing. And we, before we went to the university, we went to, I'm not going to say where, this lady's house to go look at these two horses, but we're adopting them. We're in pretty good shape. They can both be ridden. One is nine, one is ten. They are getting the ferry over here, and I'm a little concerned because starting early this morning, it started raining really bad. It, but it's been raining pretty bad, and the paddocks in the back where they're these new horses are going to go, they're actually flooding, which is awesome. It might be fine, I don't know. This is kind of a big deal because this will be the first time that my family and I could go riding together. We have uh, five horses already. We have the two minis, Callie and Bailey, and then we have the chestnut mare named Dreamer, which is my mom's horse, but we can't ride her because she has bow tendons. And then we have Joe, which is the little bay pony that were kind of too big to ride. And we have Roni, my horse, which is the horse that you've actually seen jumping recently, the Red Roan. Uh, it'll be good for us, these horses, because we can all spend time together on a trail ride as a family, which we've never done ever. Apparently, she rides Western and he rides English, which to me that, that's not really a big deal. Um, we're not, we're, we weren't looking for specific horses to do specific things, we just, we saw these two horses and they turned out to be pretty good. As I don't know much about them, I can't say too many things because my plans might not even happen. My goals for them is to maybe jump them, maybe, hopefully. Like any, any horse can jump, right? It's just a matter of do they like jumping? Do they have the right attitude? We didn't buy them because we wanted to jump them, but it's just, you know, Roni really isn't built to jump, but she does. So I don't see why not. We'll just, we'll just see how it goes. They might just be trail horses, which is totally fine too. I don't want to say too much now because you probably want to see these horses. I don't have any pictures of them right now, but when they do get here, I will try and get as much footage as I can so you can see. And I will see you in a bit then. Hi, good morning. I know I said I was going to get as much footage as I can, but the reason I don't have any footage of them actually getting here is because it was 10 o'clock at night and raining. In the paddock, we gave them hay, some grain, they settled down pretty quick. It's so far so good. We put our other horses out, so everyone's kind of thinking, you know, hey, there's new horses here. Their names, we picked out names for them. She is going to be called Calypso, and he is going to be called Timber. Uh, I really like those names for them. Um, they might not stick, I don't know. But as we get to know them, I want to try and do a diary of it as much as I can. So in a couple years from now, I want to look back and be able to see, hey, I remember that. Um, so we're going to head outside now. We're going to see them. They've already had breakfast. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to take some pictures. Uh, you'll see them on Instagram. If you came here for my Instagram, welcome. We'll see how it goes. I just 
skype back in i know i know there's not going to be a lot of footage of the horses but after about an hour no i'd say like an hour and 10 minutes of me trying to get close to them i finally got the halter on him which was my plan anyway but whenever i got close to him he would always turn and turn his butt into me and yeah uh, it was just us going back and forth and eventually though he did face me he did stand and face me so i I slowly worked my way up to him and I offered my hand for him to sniff and he did and then when he did sniff it I retreated and we just did this for a while until he finally dropped his head and started licking his lips and I took that as a sign that he was ready. So I brushed him, I didn't, I couldn't do a very good job, um, he didn't want to stand still and I didn't want to get too close to his legs just in case. So I brushed, his, brushed him as best I could, he needs to be bathed, he's got a um, a lot of dirt uh, under his fur, but I brushed his uh, just his body, not his legs. I brushed, or yeah, I did brush his mane. Um, it's got to be trimmed. He's got some, he's got some dreadlocks in it, but that's that's okay. Um, I also did a little bit of desensitizing. I was just taking the end of his uh, lead and I was just throwing it over his back, and he was walking around a bit, but. Eventually he did just stand there and start licking his lips. So I moved to the other side, did the same thing, and he did he did um, pretty well. I'm hoping when I go back out there, he's not gonna give me such a headache of trying to catch him again. But if he does, then we'll just we'll work on it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be today or tomorrow, but I'm gonna go out there with all of the equipment I need this time and the camera and the tripod, so you don't miss anything. Uh, I'm gonna go out there. I'm going to just have my dressage whip. I'm gonna work on touching him all over his body to see what kind of reaction I get out of him. And I'll be able to tell what kind of mind he has. Uh, when I was working with him just now, I was only out there for about 30 minutes. Um, he wanted to do whatever I was doing, but at the same time, he wasn't sure. Like, he was always flicking his ears back, and it's, it's okay. It's, uh, he only he's been here for less than 24 hours so I'm not worried about it but I'm sure he's gonna do fine uh, I didn't do much with her uh, I'm morally focused on him because he's kind of the bossy one so I just want to get him in shape before I go work on her but I don't really have anything to report on her either um, oh she is uh, in heat I found that out when my when Joe, the pony, who's a gelding, they were kind of mocking each other on over the fence there, so that's, uh, I mean, we don't have any stallions here anyway, so it's fine, but she's uh, moody, I noticed. But we'll just see how things go. Um, I don't have much to report now, so I will try my best to get as much footage as I can and I will upload them as often as I can so you can see the videos might not be very long but you can still see some progress. Uh, by the At the end of every month I'm going to try and do a video log I guess. Um, at the end of the month I'm just gonna, a monthly report on these horses. Uh, it's not just gonna be about them two, I'm gonna do about everyone. Um, on um, the summer, if the weather cooperates, I'm going to try and do lots of jumping with Roni and I want to get the minis pulling the cart and obviously the two horses to see where it goes. I'm so, so, so excited to be with them, to see what they can do. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about them, I can answer as well as I can. But if I do know anything, I will let you know and keep up on my Instagram because you'll see lots of updates on them and how 